I don't think Paris are playing a particularly good game here in terms of the comp and how they're working it, but Exe individually is having one hell of a series. His individual play, his mechanics, his, the shots that he's hitting, uh, up there with the best that he's been doing all season long. Yeah, and I mean, sometimes I wonder when you look at a team like the Eternal, where you have such crazy mechanical skill, right, that you get into the sort of paradigm of, you know, the, the arrogance of the top, right, where, yeah, maybe there's other compositions they could work on, where I think, you know, the complaints that you've raised about their composition here, I think, ring pretty true. But on the same note for the Eternal, if you're still winning, you just kind of have this mindset of, eh, keep running it. We're not losing, are we? And, you know, if you get tested like the Rain are testing them here now, it does make it a little bit more questionable. It does force a player like Exe to perform up to every last bit of his potential. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think that that's probably something that Paris are doing. Bear in mind as well that this is a new meta, a new patch, new hero pools. So Paris, like every other team in the league right now, are going to be adapting and figuring out what compositions work for them. Uh, I tell you what, Atlanta Reign have figured out though. Uh, Bastion equals win so far. <laughs> it's, it's a very back, simple baby. equation. Oh, I love to see it. Eternal probably just going, oh, right, right. This was a thing the first time around. It has not gone away. Anbin, under some heavy pressure, the rain. They get their initial entry onto the high ground, and they're just going to wait for the next TP here, Josh. And Edison's going to be going left and right again. I think they have Fielder hiding on the top high ground, ready to set out a sleep and a bionade. Oh, it was a decent attempt, but now he's getting pressured down. Meanwhile, Edison found no smite. The Bastion so devastating when left unchecked. Takes out FD God in the rain. Starting to get all they need. Remember, Josh, they only need 33% on the point. Yeah, it's just a single take, and the point presence at the moment is enormous. Han been so weak, and no smite is basically the final defense. He's just going to get shredded by this Bastion. And the Paris Eternal, map <laughs> after map, have struggled to come up with a counter. Hail Bastion! <laughs> is what I'm gonna say there. Our new overlord, our old overlord, he's back, baby. And this is one of those crazy things here, Josh, because even though obviously these players have been around for a long time, they've dealt with Bastion previously, but I mean, how often in the average scrim block do you see a team pull up Bastion on point A Volskaya? I'm gonna wager yeah. it's not very often. 